the current measles outbreak in Texas, more than 300 people have already been infected with measles and two unvaccinated individuals have died. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician, senior public health contributor for Forbes and med patient aid columnist. I want to tell you everything you need to know about measles. Measles is an extremely contagious viral disease. Measles can last in the air for up to two hours, even after someone with measles has left the room. And 90% of people will get measles if they're exposed to it and they're unvaccinated and they've never been exposed to measles before. It's extremely contagious, even more contagious than COVID-19. And measles also can be gotten if you're in close contact with someone with measles. So typically, if someone with measles coughs or sneezes in the air and then you inhale those infected particles, you can get measles. You can also get measles if you touch contaminated surfaces, things like doorknobs, desks. If someone with measles has touched those or has sneezed on them and then you touch it and then touch your eyes or your nose, you can get measles. Typically, measles occurs after you get exposed. In 10 to 14 days after you get exposed, you can have symptoms. Some of those symptoms include things that you would expect with a common flu, things like a high fever, moving up even up to 104 degrees, cough, runny nose, watery eyes, red eyes. And typically you'll get a characteristic rash, a red blotchy rash that starts on your face and it then goes down your body. You typically get that rash about three to five days after you have initial symptoms. And the important thing to remember about the rash is that you're actually contagious four days before the rash begins and up to four days after the rash ends. So that can be like even one to two weeks where you're contagious and you can spread the infection to other people. What to know about measles is that there are very serious complications with measles. Measles can result in something called pneumonia or infection of the lung. In one in 1,000 people, it can result in swelling of the brain, which can result in encephalitis. That's what's called encephalitis. It can even result in blindness and even death. So it's an extremely serious disease that has very serious complications associated with it. Now, there's no treatment for measles, and that's why it's so important for people to prevent measles. And you can't prevent measles from just good nutrition, vitamins, steroids. You need vaccination. Vaccination is the only way we can prevent measles. According to the CDC, if you get one dose of the measles vaccine, you're protected by 93% against measles. If you get two doses, you have 97% protection against measles. That essentially means you're not going to get measles. Or if you do, it's going to be a very mild disease. Typically, most patients get the vaccine in childhood. The first dose is given usually when you're about 12 to 15 months of age. And the second dose is given when you're about four to six years of age. Now, typically, adults, older adults, if you were born before 1957, you're likely immune to measles because it was so widespread then and you've likely been exposed to the virus. Now, if you were born after 1957 and you were vaccinated before 1968, you likely got a form of the vaccine that wasn't as effective. So it's probably in your best interest to get vaccinated again if you meet that criteria. Now, if you've gotten the vaccine after 1968, even one dose or two doses, you're fine and you should be totally immune to measles. But really important to get vaccinated because what's causing this measles outbreak is low vaccination rates. We've had threatened herd immunity, herd immunity, which is the immunity or the protection conferred upon a population when a certain amount of the population gets vaccinated or exposed, it protects everyone else. And that herd immunity rate for measles is 95%. Now we're seeing these rates you know, go down to 91%, 92% in many communities and counties in Texas. And this is what's driving the measles outbreak. So really important and critical for people to get the vaccine. I don't know how else to say it. Very, very important. Uh, hope that's a good overview of what measles is, uh, what the complications are, what symptoms to expect, how it's contagious, and what the best treatment or prevention is for measles, which is, of course, uh, the vaccine. Hope that was helpful. Uh, please subscribe to the MedEd page. And as always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.